simulation that plays with time. Example, a small post office currently has one service counter. The following table shows the probability distribution for the time between customers' arrivals. And the following table shows the probability distribution for the counter service time. The manager of the post office wishes to offer service such that the average customer waiting time before getting the service does not exceed 5 minutes. Given the following random numbers, conduct a simulation for 10 arrivals assuming that the post office starts its operation at 9 in the morning. Determine whether or not the current system fulfills the manager's wish. To conduct simulation, first find cumulative probability and interval of random number for all variables of interest. Next, build simulation table. Because we are asked to do simulation for 10 arrivals, begin the table with a column for arrival and write number 1 until 10 in the column. To determine the next columns, follow the flow of the story. The post office opens at 9 in the morning. People will then come to the post office. When a person arrives, the first thing that we need to know is time of his or her arrival. In order to determine the time of arrival, we must first know time between arrivals. So we need a column for time between arrivals. But since time between arrivals is a variable, we must first put a column for random number before a column for time between arrivals. After we have a column for time between arrivals, we can have a column for arrival time. After a person arrives, he or she will wait before going to the counter. So put a column for waiting time. After waiting for some time, the person will get his or her turn to go to the counter. So put a column for time going to the counter. When the person goes to the counter, he or she will spend some time to get the service at the counter. So we need a column for service time. But since service time is a variable, we must first put a column for random number before a column for service time. After getting the service, the person will then leave the counter. So put a column for time leaving the counter. After the simulation table is built, do the simulation. The simulation must be done from left to right. For the first person, random number for time between arrivals is 86. 86 lies in this interval. Thus, time between arrivals for the first person is 4 minutes. This means that the first person arrives 4 minutes after the post office opens, that is, she arrives at 9.04. Since she is the first person to arrive, she does not have to wait, so the waiting time is 0. She will straight away go to the counter at the time that she arrived, which is 9.04. Random number for service time is 09. 09 lies in this interval. Thus, service time for the first person is 1 minute. This means that the first person leaves the counter at 9.05. For the second person, random number for time between arrivals is 32. 32 lies in this interval. Thus, time between arrivals for the second person is 1 minute. This means that the second person arrives 1 minute after the first person arrive. That is, he arrives at 9.05. 
Since the first person finishes getting her service at 9.05, the second person does not have to wait. So the waiting time is zero. He will straight away go to the counter at the time that he arrives, which is 9.05. Random number for service time is 93. 93 lies in this interval. Thus, service time for the second person is 4 minutes. This means that the second person leaves the counter at 9.09. .09. For the third person, random number for time between arrivals is 68. 68 lies in this interval. Thus, time between arrivals for the third person is 2 minutes. This means that the third person arrived two minutes after the second person arrived, that is, he arrived at 9.07. Since the second person finishes getting his service at 9.09, .09, the third person has to wait for two minutes. So the waiting time is two minutes. He will go to the counter at 9.09. .09. Random number for service time is 87. 87 lies in this interval. Thus, service time for the third person is 4 minutes. This means that the third person leaves the counter at 9.13. Continue the simulation until person number 10. Calculate the average waiting time per customer by adding the numbers in the waiting time column and dividing it by 10. The average waiting time per customer is 2.1 minutes. 2.1 minutes is less than 5 minutes. Therefore, the current system fulfills the manager's wish.